So just like the custom post types, we are also able to make custom taxonomies in our WordPress. And that is basically the categorizations that you see in the different places. For example, you can have different positions for players and you can create, for example, you have a defender, forward, goalkeeper, midfielder. But those are categories under players in this particular instance. So we are also going to get the different positions. If we try to look for positions in our queries, we don't have anything like that in our endpoint. However, WP GraphQL allows us to either create our custom, our own custom endpoints. Uh, for example, I'll just try to put this above over here and say maybe we're going to add a new taxonomy to our player. So we're going to call our player, we're going to add a taxonomy called doctag. We shall add document tags, which is doctag and doctags in plural. So you literally see it's the same thing all over again. If I hit save on this, come back to our backend and reload. If we come to players, you will see that we have a new taxonomy called document tags and we can create a new tag all through. So I don't want to create a new tag per se, but instead I want to query the existing tag. So we're going to use the add filter function. So I'm just going to copy this and then I'll just add it here. So we're going to tap into the existing register taxonomy ags for WP GraphQL and it will accept um, two parameters. That's the ags and the taxonomy that we are getting. So in this particular, we are looking for uh, the taxonomy in here and in player, we have a taxonomy called SP position, we have SP list. So those are the two that we have currently. So SP position, and we're going to create another just for, just so that we can't forget it. And then we have SP lists. So SP list, if you look down here, you will see we have SP list. So SP list and SP position. Now we shall call this player position and we shall call this player positions. I'll just edit this player list for singular and then player lists for plural. So we have these all coming through and we're getting these individual taxonomies. So what I'm going to do is uh, go back to our endpoint. You see, as I type, I'm given uh, what I'm looking for. So we're looking for player positions, and then we're going to look for the edges, and then we're going to look for the node, and then we shall look for, for the name of the taxonomy, for example. So let's hit play. We shall see we have defenders, we have forwards, we have goalkeeper, we have the midfielder. 